Hey guys, today we're checking out a super cool product. This is a Zigbee to Ethernet adapter. So basically you can have Zigbee running over a network connection. Uh, and I'll show you why this is really cool here in a second. Let's get it out of the box. Okay, so as I was saying, this is really cool because what you can do is you can actually run a Zigbee connection over your network. So currently on my home assistant setup, as you can see right there, I have a Zigbee dongle directly attached to my uh, Raspberry Pi that runs my home assistant. Now this is fine, but the problem is I don't want this Raspberry Pi to run home assistant. I want to run home assistant on a virtual machine. Now you may be thinking, yes, that's fine. Whatever you can still run it on a virtual machine, you can pass it through, but actually it's a challenge to pass it through in my setup because I have a highly available virtual machine setup, which means VMs migrate between different servers automatically in my setup. And that's not obviously going to work with USB pass through because I don't want to go move the Zigbee dongle or stuff like that. So, so this adapter is really cool because you can actually just run the Zigbee connection over your network. Here's the device right here in the antenna that it comes with. I don't know what's inside of here, but it does seem to be a 3D printed case. This is from some website that is like tubeszb.com. I will link them down in the description below. Um, but I'm excited to try out this product. This is actually PoE powered as well. So literally um, you plug in the ethernet connection and it outputs Zigbee or inputs, I guess, depending on how you think about it. Um, it'll run the Zigbee connection over your network. That way you can have a virtualized home assistant, but still be able to use Zigbee because that's the biggest drawback for having a highly available virtual machine setup with home assistant. So I'm gonna follow the quick setup here. Um, this is just a nice little paper. I'm really impressed with this shipping and this whole setup. Thank you, Tubes ZB. Um, I still obviously paid for this, but um, it's really nice to see someone putting a lot of thought into a product like this. Um, it's a 3D printed enclosure, but it's incredibly built, very rock solid. Um, the antenna looks great. I'm excited to try out the POE as well. So let's take a look more in depth of this product. Okay, so theoretically this is a matter of just plugging in this ethernet cable and it should just fire up and I might be able to even see it in Home Assistant. All right, so that is actually wrong. I'm gonna show you here in Home Assistant uh, actually what I ended up doing uh, because yeah, this like I said did not work for whatever reason. So. In Home Assistant, it was just showing up as ESP Home. Um, and actually, I was doing it wrong entirely. You aren't supposed to adopt it here. From what I can tell, you are supposed to adopt it through the Zigbee menu. Uh, Zigbee for Home Automation menu. I'm going to show you how to do that right here. All right, I'm going to voice this over since I know how to do it better now that I have already set this up. I can explain it easier to you. So we're going to go to Devices and Services first. Uh, we're going to select on Zigbee Home Automation, Configure, Migrate Radio. And we're going to continue. It's just asking that it will be stopped. Uh, we're going to hit submit here. Uh, we're going to migrate to a new radio. We're going to confirm that. And now we're going to unplug the old one, the USB adapter. We're going to submit that. And we're going to select ZNP for this device I have. Now, if you have a different one, you'll have to select it for that device. Here is the socket port speed and data flow control settings that you should use. They are on the screen right here. You're going to type this in, replacing the 192.168.1.145 with your IP address. The port will be the same and the port speed will also be the same. You just need to replace the IP address and make sure you select software for your data flow control. And now we're gonna restore an automatic backup, the most recent one, we're going to click submit. All right, now I'm gonna show you my setup. All right, so here's the old Pi and the old Zigbee adapter I had racked in the Pi rack right there. I'm gonna go show you the Zigbee adapter right now that I have currently deployed. So here it is, I apologize for the low light, but this is in the night scene in my bedroom. It's getting PoE power from a switch, um, one of my MDF switches and it's just sitting here and it's just been running for the past few weeks now. It's been absolutely rock solid. The setup experience was not super solid. Um, my Zigbee network went down for probably 30 minutes or so while it was all switching over to this device. But honestly, the fact that everything switched over flawlessly afterwards was pretty cool to me. Um, I didn't have to reset a single Zigbee device. It all just automatically switched over um, through the backup that I had configured. All the device names stayed, everything stayed. It was a very smooth experience once I figured out how to do it. I want to keep this video short, so this is going to be a short little segment here, but if you're curious why I have the Raspberry Pi available now, it's because I moved my Home Assistant to a VM on my highly available Proxmox cluster. Um, it has Ceph storage, so it basically just never shuts off at this point, which is fantastic. I, that's the reason I liked having a bare metal Pi, because I was free from maintenance and stuff. It was doing its own little thing, but now that I have a highly available cluster, I might as well just move it to that and save some power on the Raspberry Pi and it's less to manage as well. So it's all running on this Pi, on this VM. I gave it six gigabytes of RAM, which is about three times what it had on the Pi. It's got two CPU cores, which is half what it had on the Pi, 
um, except these cores are a lot faster and it's x86 based, so it's probably more efficient for Home Assistant. But other than that, that is my new Home Assistant setup. There's literally no hardware pass through I have to do anymore because of the Zigbee adapter. So that is absolutely amazing to me because it is less to maintain as well, maintaining the hardware passing through. If you have any other questions or anything, let me know by leaving a comment down below. I hope this video is useful for you. If you like this product, like I said, it's in the link down in the description. The creator of this did not pay for anything. I purchased the item with my own money. I just thought it was pretty cool and wanted to share it with you guys. So thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day. I will see you in the next video.